welcome to another what day in a day video as a vegan on Slimming World. Today I'm actually going to do a tiny bit different. It's actually already afternoon when I'm filming this because I've been out for brunch this morning. So I'm going to show you what I had. Obviously um, there was not very Slimming World friendly options. Um, so I'm going to sin this up in a moment and then let you know how many sins it was. But basically I went with my friend to this gorgeous place called the Bristolian. Um, I live in Bristol, it's a cafe bar thing called the Bristolian um, and it's renowned for having the best brunches in Bristol. I've never been there before, they're very good for vegans apparently. I've heard of them, I've just never been. Anyway, I'll tell you what guys, it was so good. It is literally the best brunch I've had in my life I think. Um, probably the best brunch ever, I mean um, let alone vegan. It was so good. I dread to think how many sins. So yeah, like I said, I'm gonna um, go and work that out. Um, but I'll show you what I had here. <laughs> Okay, so um, the rest of today, obviously I don't need any lunch or anything, I'm so stuffed to the gunnels, um, but I'm going to do some meal prep for the week, it's a Sunday today, um, so I'm going to make um, some food, so I'll show you what I make later, um, I'm actually going to attempt to like plate up meals so that I can reheat them in the microwave on a weeknight. Um, this isn't something I've been able to do in the past because I didn't have a microwave. Uh, I don't have a thing against microwaves, but I just didn't have one. I now do have one precisely for this very reason, just to make my life that little bit easier. And so I'm now able to meal prep properly. So I'm looking forward to that. So I'm gonna do, I think, two different meals, plus a soup for lunches with salad for works, and then my normal breakfast, but I don't prep them except for toasting my oats which um, I've mentioned in other videos but I'll show you what I do I'm not going to film absolutely every stage of the recipe I don't have the equipment um, and I'm on a tiny bit of a rush because I don't have that many hours left in the usable day there's a possibility that I'm going to have to run out and get some like broccoli or something I'm not sure yet I need to double check I haven't planned everything yet um, on the way back from brunch just to let you know, because um, I do like uh, the fact that Bristol is the most brilliant city in the world for vegans. I absolutely love it. Um, I don't live in Bristol proper, I live just north of Bristol in the Burbs, um, but I'm extremely lucky to have all this like a 15 minute drive away. Um, so I stopped in the health food shop on the way home because I needed a couple of bits. There's a couple of bits, and it's really near the brunch place. Um, it's called Better Foods, or the Better Food Company, something like that. Um, I'd run out of toothpaste, some, somewhat suddenly. I'm a bit of a hoarder, so I normally have 10 billion, you know, spares of everything, but I did manage to run out after this morning. So I had to get some toothpaste. I use Kingfisher, just for your info. Um, this is the mint with fluoride. Uh, this is what I use. It's vegan and um, totally approved for everything and it's natural. So Kingfisher is the brand. I've used it for years. I absolutely love it. The other things I got was some chickpeas because I was trying to avoid going to Tesco later. These literally cost twice as much as buying a can in Tesco. It's because they're organic and you know I've got no problem with that but um, I just needed one can. So I spent the extra money just to save myself another trip, which it turns out I may now need to do. And then the other thing I bought um, was these sea cakes. They aren't breaded, actually, as per the picture. It's just that's a way of serving them. They just look more attractive, I guess, and that's why they have that picture on the box. But really, I'll just show you. Oh, you can't really see it. It's not clear back. Oh, yeah. This is them. They're actually free on Slimming World. Um, and they probably count as a protein option because they are just tofu um, with like seaweed in them. It's literally, yeah, smoked tofu and arame seaweed. Honestly, these are so tasty. I just oven bake them and they go a little bit like, it's just like a big block of tofu really. Um, 
yeah, just bake them 25, 30 minutes. There you go, that's what it says. That's how I cook them and I always have anyway. So these are really good. I recommend these. I, I can only get these in um, that health food shop. I haven't seen them anywhere else. So um, I always grab a pack when I'm in there as a special treat because they're free, they're free on Slimming World. Um, they do loads of tofu in there and I love the Thai fun tofu ranges, um, but they're quite oily, some of the flavors. So I just haven't been buying them at the moment because they're too easy to eat too much of and um, yeah, I need to rein it in. I'm also very proud of myself because I didn't get any of the amazing vegan cakes they had on offer at the health food shop. They had this giant cherry um, cupcake, they called it, but it was really a muffin, but like, I mean, it was huge iced. It was like three pound or just this one cake. And then they had like some sliced cakes as well that you could have. There was like a um, banana and caramel, and there was another one that I forget. There was a couple of flapjacks. There were low sugar cookies. It all looked amazing, but I didn't buy any chocolate or any cakes when I was in there, and that is probably a first for me at that health food shop. So um, I'm feeling really pleased. And although my breakfast is probably used all my sins for the day, I'm feeling like I'm in control and on track today. So without further ado, I'm gonna go start cooking and I'm gonna show you what I do to varying degrees of detail. But I will put all my recipes that I use because I'm making them up <laughs> um, in the comments. So do check that out if you're interested in anything that I'm making in a moment. Um, just quickly, while I'm doing my food prep, I'm having a drink, 250 mils of this raspberry and pomegranate white tea from Sainsbury's. It's no added sugar per 150 mils. It's just nine calories. But when I put it through the calculator, it came out as free, so happy days. Um, I think I would have estimated it as half a cent, but I think it's because there's like nothing else in it because there's no sugar, It's that must be why it's free. So anyway, yeah, I'm just gonna have this straight from the fridge because it's lovely. Mm. First up, let's get our ingredients for our curry ready. We've got hot curry powder, cayenne pepper and ground ginger, as well as sweet potatoes, red peppers, stock, onion, garlic, chopped tomatoes, chickpeas, quinoa and spinach. I actually only used the two large sweet potatoes. For our second dish, we're going to need these carrots, red onion, ground coriander, garlic and stock. And this is Part way through, the back one is the curry, the front one is the carrot and coriander soup. And at the same time, I'm just boiling up a few portions of quinoa and I had a little accident there. Okay, I've just shown you my organized chaos on the stove. Um, I've got my curry is basically done as soon as the sweet potato and peppers are cooked that is good to go, just have the spinach stirred in. Um, the carrots have just gone in with the water for my carrot and coriander soup. Um, that's not quite come to the boil yet. And I've done my quinoa to go with the curry. Um, the quinoa is just about done, which is perfect because it's 20 to four, the supermarket shut at four. So I wanted the quinoa to be done and then I can run out. So that's what I'm about to do now because um, I desperately need fresh coriander, which I totally forgot about earlier. And as I mentioned earlier, some broccoli um, as an accompaniment for during the week. So I'm gonna go out and quickly get that stuff. And when I come back, I'm gonna continue. This is chaos, but it's fine because my week is gonna be so nice and easy. It's not really chaos as well, it's just, I don't like it because it's like all a mess in one go. But it's fine because I'll get it all cleared up and I'm clearing up as I go along. It's just stress. And my quinoa boiled over as you saw in the video, which I'm pretty gutted about because my stove top was beautifully clean. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna clean that up very quickly now so it doesn't set on. So I'll catch up with you guys later. I've had to shove my hair back because I'm just so hot. <laughs> right, so I've been to Tesco. I'm gonna show you what I got. Coriander, as planned. Mint, that I forgot to say before I went. Some leaves. Tomatoes, just cheap ones for the skin. Two broccolis. Green beans. 
and these little food savers because I thought they'd be good for my yogurt. And that's it. Eight pounds later. Um, anyway, so yeah, I'll um, continue with my batch cooking and show you whatever I do next. For the other main meal, we're going to make ratatouille. So I've got peppers, aubergine and courgettes, along with garlic, stock, onion, Italian seasoning and basil. And then I'll be serving that with these fries sausages, which are half us in for two. So while I was prepping my broccolis, I found this little guy hiding. So I had to obviously bring him outside and let him be free. At first I thought he was dead, but it turned out he was fine. So I'm just going to pop him down here on this leaf and um, let him do what he can do. I mean, there's not a lot else I can do for him, but at least I found him. I feel like a shell of my former self. I have been cooking, I don't even wanna know how long for. I think it's like three hours. <laughs> but if this is what it takes for me to stay on plan this week and not be stressed this week, then it is worth every single second. So <sighs> hopefully it was worth it. I feel like it is because I'm feeling really really chuffed and organized right now um so i'm going to show you what i've done in just a moment but i'll just tell you first of all so i've made two soups one is carrot and coriander and the other one is pea spinach and mint which um looks quite good and then i've also got a side salad each day for lunch as well and then for my dinners i've got a sweet potato, chickpea and red pepper and spinach curry with quinoa and broccoli and courgette. And then for my other dinners I've got um, like a ratatouille type thing with fried sausages which are half a sin for two. So each portion of the ratatouille thing with the sausages on it is half a sin but everything else is free. Um, so I've got um, two of those with pasta and two of those with jacket potatoes and I've got three curries plated up and I had a spare portion of curry which I'll freeze um, I wasn't going to plate up seven meals but that's just how it's worked out um, and I cooked too much pasta so actually I've got lunches free till Saturday because tomorrow I've made a pasta salad with my leftover pasta and the rest of the salad vegetables um, and the rest of my lemon and herb peri peri oomph. So um, that needed using. So that's taking care of what's in my fridge as well. There isn't enough green in this really for my taste for lunch, but it's fine, it'll all work out. So yeah, without further ado, I'm just gonna take you over and show you what I've made. And also I've cleaned my kitchen already, so I'm feeling like, oh. <laughs> It's nice to feel organised, even if my feet are really killing me now, <laughs> and I'm dying of heat. Um, and also, I just started filming this just now, and I saw something hovering around it all, and I thought it was a fly, and actually it was a wasp. So I actually did record <laughs> me trying to get rid of this wasp, because I didn't have time to press stop. So I'm not going to insert that footage, but I'm sure it's hilarious. I'm going to watch it in a minute, because I think it's going to be quite funny, because basically I was shrieking and swearing at it as I chased it with a tea towel very gently because I'm I don't I'm it's stupid I know but I'm petrified of wasps anyway I'll um, show you my feed now and hopefully this will prove inspiration for some of you the um, big one with the jacket potato and the ratatouille it's no bigger portion it's just a bigger bowl um, I'm quite careful to make all my portions the same um, but uh, that's what I'm having tonight so but the rest of it will go in my fridge I'm gonna have to like rearrange my fridge a little bit <laughs> I don't know how I'm gonna fit everything in. Um, yeah, so it looks good, but it's perhaps poorly planned and executed. But you know, hey, it's the first time I've ever done a meal prep like this, and I am pretty pleased with myself, I'm not gonna lie. And as I said, it's all sin free, except for the sausages, half sin for those ones. 
my breakfast that I have a half a sin. I haven't put breakfast here because I do them each day. But yeah, breakfast a half a sin. So um, it's pretty good. It's looking good this week. Fingers crossed. I don't need luck. I've got planning and prep. guys so um yes I have wet hair I haven't had a, like a really weird makeover um basically after I finished my meal prep I just got it all put away and then um one of the girls in my little slimming one of the girls in my little slimming world like text group um message to say she was out walking to want to join her so she ended up walking up to mine and I joined her so I've now and then I dropped her home after because it was like pouring with rain and she had at least another three mile walk to go so um yeah i've just done a nice three mile walk which i wasn't expecting to do so i'm really really pleased with that the only downside is that well a i got soaked but i don't mind that at all it was lovely walking in the rain um and we had a really nice time as well um so i just got back and i've just jumped straight in the shower while i microwave my tea so i'm gonna go and eat that now the only downside is it's now gone nine o'clock um but Everything is done. As you saw, I've prepped all my food for the week. Um, and yeah, I don't need to stress because it's all good. So once I've had my tea, which I've got um, one of the rac ratatouille jacket potatoes with sausage, which is half sin, and um, I think it's broccoli and green beans on that one. So yeah, just half a sin. I reckon the sins I had at breakfast or brunch, um, many many hours ago now I'm so hungry um, where I worked out to be like 21 um, that was a very loose calculation and I don't know how right it is so I'm just going with minimize what I'm having this evening I've got a bit of a chocolate hankering but that might go after I've had my tea so um, I'm just gonna see what happens really um, I'm not gonna beat myself up because I've now had burnt 539 calories that I wasn't expecting to so um, hopefully that's negated some of the breakfast damage which I'm just feeling really good. It's really nice to feel organized and I had a lovely walk and a really good chat. So um, yeah, happy bunny on this Sunday. And it's rainy, so it's really cozy. And then once I've eaten, I'm gonna blow dry my hair and then watch Insatiable, which is my new favorite thing on Netflix. You have to go watch it if you have Netflix. It's awesome. Um, yeah, definitely love it. Okay, I'll catch up with you guys later. So I've eaten my dinner, which was really nice. I'm nicely full, and I'm just taking up like some supplies with me because um, I'm going to go to bed in an hour or so. I need to let my food go down. Um, I am still fighting a wicked chocolate craving, but I'm doing my best to combat it with other stuff. I'm, I'm having a cup of Earl Grey tea. I say a cup. I have a giant mug. Um, it's decaf. I'm also having, and this might seem weird, but I do like having a hot cold drink and a hot drink at the same time so I'm just having this glass of um, diet ginger ale uh, which I really like and like I constantly have water so yeah I don't normally say that and also I'm having this Alpro yogurt which is peach um, from this pack and that is two sins for that one so yeah I'm combating my chocolate craving with a two sin yogurt on my dinner, I had three tablespoons of nutritional yeast, so that's three sins. Um, I can't, I mean, it's kind of damage limitation today, but on the other hand, I feel like I haven't been horrendous because that brunch was the only like bad thing that I had. So I don't mind, like even if I do come down and have one of my little chocolate bars later, I don't mind, it's not the end of the world. Um, it's only six and a half sins. Um, so, not a lot. Hey guys, so it's bedtime now, and I'm just having my 
250 ml of Alpro dark chocolate almond milk. This is my healthy extra A choice for the day. I didn't have any other um, treats or chocolate or anything. I successfully resisted. And um, so I reckon that I'm finishing the day on very roughly 26 and a half sins, but, and I get 20 a day by the way, um, because I'm so very large. Um, but yeah, so that's a really rough estimate. I don't know how accurate it is, but I'm feel pleased because I didn't let my um, knowing I was over at brunch, I didn't let that affect my whole day, I don't think. I think I was still pretty sensible. So yeah, so that's it from me. And thanks for joining me for another What I Eat In A Day as a vegan on Slimming World. I'll see you next time. Thanks as always for watching. If you haven't so far, hit <laughs> the subscribe button down there. And, um, <laughs> Uh, I think you have to click the little notification bell if you want to see when I post a new video. So till then, let me know in the comments if you want to see anything different on my videos, if this one was helpful, etc. I really hope it was, it was a bit different. And that's me done. Take care guys, bye!